All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, understanding uninitialized variables. All right. So when JavaScript variables are declared, they have an initial value of undefined. If we do a mathematical operation on an undefined variable, our result will be nan, which means not a number. If we concatenate a string with an un, I, pardon me, undefined variable, we will get a string of undefined. If you don't know what concatenate means, it basically just means add one string to another. So like over here, well, I'll show you what we're going to do. Anyway, so we're going to uh, initialize the three variables, a, b, and c, with 5, 10, and i, m, a, respectively, so that they will not be undefined. Okay, so up here, we're going to say a is now, we're going to say a equals uh, 5. And I'm going to change this up myself because I don't like having so many vars in one place. We're going to take this var out of here. And we're going to say b equals... And we'll say 10 right here. All right. Do another comma. Take out this var. I mean, it is a little bit more work, but it wouldn't have been work if they would have just did it like this in the first place. And then we'll say equals I a string of I am A. All right. And let's do a console.log after this so we can see what C looks like. All right. So let's do console.log. And then we'll put C in there. All right. And you see, I am a string. So this is what concatenation is. It just adds this string to this string right here. So this string, the C, is now added to this with the space in it. It makes this, this sentence right here nicely concatenated. Let's do control Z to get rid of this console.log. Like thus, run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to understanding case sensitivity in variables. And uh, we'll see you next time.